Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. All right, it is time for this week's Steam Series, and our focus is science, technology, and math. CBS 2's Juan Fernandez takes us to Lancaster to meet up with a NASA commercializer. I am a person that loves to like connect the dots. And at this moment, inside the garage slash laboratory of electrical engineer Alan Parker, Janaya Griffin is doing just that. Like Alan, she also works at NASA. I am a technology transfer specialist. What's that mean? In a nutshell, I manage and sell NASA's technology. Turns out NASA does more than build spacecraft. It's one of the world's top idea incubators. The federal government spends $150 billion every year on research and development, and out of that development come inventions. Each time that there is an invention that is disclosed to us, we actually try to figure out what is new, what's novel, what's unique about it. Look at that. That would be perfect. And whether it might have uses for the rest of us, from there, Janaya will work with a patent attorney to license the rights. Once a company buys the rights to a NASA invention. They can create commercial products that we use every single day. You might be surprised at the common products that originate in NASA labs. Baby formula. It came from NASA nutritionists. Looking to find a supplement for long duration space flights. The heat resistant nanomaterials used on rockets and space shuttles, you can find them now on the Chi flat iron. NASA's drone technology, you can find that in iPhone cameras and memory phone mattresses. <laughs> Uh, memory foam pillows. They also originated in NASA labs. Of all the STEAM disciplines, technology transfer leans most on science, technology, and math. We're in our fourth industrial revolution. Like, it's happening right now. Data, technology. Janaya knew early on she loved computers and science. In college... I majored in forensic chemistry, understanding crime scene investigation, DNA. I did a couple of internships after I graduated college, and... It was great. But she discovered it wasn't what I really wanted. Instead, she fell in love with the technology she was using. It was her light bulb moment. I was like, I want to do a tech transfer. Among her responsibilities, calculating royalties NASA can charge. And funny enough, I used to hate math. Like, with a passion. But once she realized its real world uses. I loved it because I was problem solving. Janaya's advice to anyone searching for their own career course follow your passion and don't be afraid to change course if you start to lose interest. If it's not something that you enjoy, then don't do it. Find something that you love to do because then you'll never work a day in your life.